And what is this? Diplomatic status. Some things in this cosmos we have come to understand. You are not one of them. What do you want? See, if I just do peace, they don't like that. What about you? I will and greet you in the hopes that your goal is great. Well, they don't like me. I guess I'll just burn them burn them to the ground or something like that. Okay. Oh, hero available for recruitment. So we have we probably want What is this guy? You social. He's interesting. I'd love to see what his Skill tree looks like. I've never even heard of these guys. Happiness, happiness per person, extra money, and industry. Okay, it's not bad. Defending troops per plan and ooh, forced labor. That sounds horrifying, but it doesn't seem to have any downsides. Okay, and this is just extra science on system. Ah, on sedative political leader, on system if assigned. Interesting. Okay, so guardian and seeker. If I remember right, guardians and seekers are kind of more military based. No, they kind of just work out to be about as useful. The vaulter's bonuses are nice. This is guardian. Yeah, the guardian class is... I mean, the extra, the Vox Populi bonus is nice, but that is most definitely like a, a fleet bonus. And this is a Seeker. Seekers are, I think, mostly for like fleet exploration stuff. Eh, maybe not. Still, I think the other guy was more use, more immediately useful, and weird looking, and also boost the scientists. Which is helpful. Okay. Uh, speaking of... Extra industry on system? Yeah. I'm just gonna keep pumping that. Science is nice, but I'm just trying to finish some of these areas. Okay, here are recruited. Assigned skills. Uh, let's see. So extra happiness, not actually that helpful for what we're doing. Let's do industry and food. And let's apply them to Yetix, I think. That'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, so we can also get the... Uh, I'd like to get the Oregon uh, History Center, but how do we know system level? That's actually something that I've never been very good. That's a nice screen. Okay, build a, Builder of Wonders. Uh, sure. I get 500 dust. The Argosy is ready. I didn't take a turn there. I'm not entirely sure where those came from, but sure. Population gain. Got these. What's this? Pirate non-aggression pact expired. Uh-oh. Okay, so how do we know system level? Ah. No. Status Colony 1. I don't entirely know. Okay, so we can only get one more system. Before we leave. Trying to, to, trying to see if there's a system level anywhere necessarily. So we got that guy, but that's his level. Well, maybe let's go take a look at Elsalone, see if they've got anything else. Because that's population. Automation po policy. List of improvements. Defense. Not very good, but that doesn't surprise me. Faction's home system. I can rename the system. Okay, that's helpful.
I have no idea. <laughs> I really wish I knew. I, I mean, I could probably look at it. Let's. I'm gonna Google it. There, there's gotta be. There's gotta be some way to check system level. It was way more obvious in uh, endless. Uh, endless legend, because you were survive. Uh, you were surrounding stuff, and it was interesting. Okay, top left corner, second button with coin shape. First window of three, settlement, colony, nation. Oh. Okay. So, system development projects. So this gets me extra in industry on system. I mean, extra industry always seems worthwhile. So how do we do this? System development projects allows you to level up your star systems using a combination of luxury resources. Okay, well that's fine. So does that mean I have the ability to make this now? Ah, there it is. Well, let's modernize this. The extra 60 industry will make the intergalactic technologies go faster and net me some other buffs. Okay, the other thing I should probably look at is... Is there any way of checking... There was like a... There's an economic viability button. I don't actually know where it is. Whatever. Start getting all of these up to level 2. Because it's really easy and it'll make life a lot easier for me. Thea. I mean, I've got a billion of that, that one resource, so... I might as well, uh... Might as well do that. Uh, let's see. It looks like it only takes one turn, too. Which is insane. Because that's, that's just a 60 industry bonus right off the bat. Uh, dank mushrooms. Okay, so now that we've figured that out, let's just end turn and speed things along substantially. Oh yeah, there it goes. Alright, so we should probably start looking at grabbing this, grab these. Probably anything with, like, colonization bonuses. Just work on them. Okay, so now that we've done that, what else do we have around here? Not much. Let's take a look at my pirates. Whoa, you've got dust? Hey, let's talk. So our relation is poor. I gotta just keep chucking money at them. Luckily, I'm fairly wealthy, so that's gonna make this a lot easier. Yeah, we're stalled out. If I could get some more uh, influence, that would also help. I assume we don't have any bills that specifically just give me... more culture. Yeah, why would it? Okay, intimidate citizens. Nope, none of these are that helpful. Okay. Should probably come to you. Let's check these anomalies here. Still remnant population. Turning on, turning the page after eons of sleep, the remnants are redeemed assassins who use their intensity and efficiency, making the galaxy a better place. Huh. Kind of helpful. Let's head down to Lonica. It's got four planets on it, which makes it a much more like attractive prospect than uh, than other ones, especially because these are large, large, and huge. Yeah, I could use these. So let's have uh, the Argozi head up to Lonica. Because, yeah, the more planets we have, the more space I can put down, and I don't want to start over-expanding too much. We've got the tech for that, and I think there's actually a, uh... 
I think there's a tech that I can get that uh, specifically gives me, um, like, just infinite uh, planet capture. I don't know, whatever. Okay, hey, speaking of, Whoa, I've got money. You've got dust? Hey, let's talk. They're going to be putting out a very, very strong couple of fleets, aren't they? Oh, some poor mook is going to get pirated, and it's probably going to be these guys, and I'm bankrolling them. Oh, well. Okay, Ice 10 Anomaly. Hmm. Experience on ships, and tech screen's fine. You've leveled up. Let's keep doing industry and food. The more I play these games, the more I realize that industry, not science, is kind of the key to victory, because usually you're playing catch-up, trying to finish all of the industry-related upgrades. Okay, extra resource generation and strategic resources. Yeah, I'll have to make those. Once we're done with making these wonders, this will get a lot faster. Oh, I forgot I had a anomaly to check out. Let's take a look at Yetix. Well, no, this place has garbage culture. I should I should put the uh, Oregon History Center back on the homeworld. Okay, uh, I might as well just make filter barges here. There's no reason why not to. But let's actually move predictive logistics. 20 industry per planet? Yeah. Move that to the top. I'm kind of setting Yetix up to be my uh, my powerhouse of industry. Okay, and then you're just gonna you're just gonna sleep until we get free. Free resources. Okay, new population bonus. Uh, let's take a look at the Volter screen. Okay, so we have ten or twenty? Probably twenty. I don't think we got fifty. Oh no, we have 50 population, okay. Extra science per manpower on systems. Oh, that's really good. That that means I get 0.1 science per one of these. Oh, that means we're going, we're pumping science real hard then. Okay. New event, Unnatural Wastelands. An undiscovered documentary concerning a makeshift community who live on one of your planet's biggest refuse facilities have become loaded become a loaded political issue many are scraping a living in the system's dumps scavenging for recycled materials while setting up their homes in the very same places amenities have followed and these places are now lively if polluted and dangerous hubs environmental groups demand that action is taken that industries need to manage their resources better and not fuel these communities others suggest going even further and monetizing these places more effectively in essence, they advocate greater ties between industry and refuse sites. Industry! My people are pretty happy. We'll just use this. Okay, raise the total number amount of dust produced per turn to 3,958. And the first one gets clouds. Dark glitter. Gotcha. Well, my money production is currently a sixth of what's available. So, I probably want to focus on that. We'll, I mean, we'll get there. Really, I gotta make the Xeno Tourism and a Trade Co. Really, I gotta get that Trade Co. down. Yeah, Xeno Tourism Agencies. Let's get rid of the luxury stuff for a second. Okay. I might as well use, well, of my systems, which produces the most amount of money, by far, else alone. Yeah. Well, once I'm done with this wonder and galactic supermarkets, then we can make the trade company. 14 turns and 90% of that is this. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, and the happiness is doing totally fine. Don't have anything to worry about. Let's pass some turns. Graphius is not doing anything. Never mind. I retract. Industry per planet. Industry. That. Extra manpower. We should probably get a portal, too. Let's get the portal.
portal first. In fact, we should probably get portals on just all of these. Because they take almost no time, and I believe... Well, I mean, it will make moving around just substantially easier. So that's worth. Okay, there, there. Gaikon's probably been set up. Okay, portal. Farming. I think that's good. I don't think we have the ability to level up our systems again. Well, we'll see. Okay, so we've got science going, we've got industry going, we're exploiting resources. Yeah, I'd like to colonize Shaddai, but I kind of want to try Lonica first. Getting the grapes would be good, too. Getting a lot of these things would be good, but Empor. Okay, uh, let's see. Extra money? Yeah, extra money. The happiness per person on system would be kind of nice. I just don't think it's going to make as much of a difference as you think it would. As I think it would? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. I guess this is the colonizable one. Okay. Eden. Antimatter. Uh, pirate shuttle. Solo quest the good life. Bring Horatio Vessel to one of your systems with at least three population slots. While exploring this planet, you come across a small harmless community of Horatio, apparently the survivors of crash-landed spacecraft. These people have lived on their planet for over a decade, enjoying the tropical climate and adorning their habitations with rock shells and other useless objects. They seem quite surprised when you tell them their little conclave is just one or two years away from being wiped out by a natural cataclysm. Help them find a new place to live, won't you? Given the imminent cataclysm, the need to relocate the Horatio Enclave is clear. Fortunately, the beautiful ones should bring some useful benefits, too. Okay, and... We've detected an enemy. Pirates. Pirate shuttle. Retreat. Okay, so the lost ratio are going to go to probably Cygnus. Unfortunately, I'm not very strong. Eh, he's not going to attack me immediately. Alright, smart survivors, battle tactic. Gain the XP per lost command point. Well, that's kind of useful. Okay, you should probably get out of there too. And let's go summon the fleet. Elslan, I am going to quickly put a portal on top of this. That way we can send him down to Cygnus. Okay. So the Argosi needs to recover. End turn. Okay, portal gets made. Science gets done. Battle at Lonica. It's following us, isn't it? No? Retreat. I thought I already left. I thought I told it to leave. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Uh, let's tell everything to move. Thank you, portals. Okay, so now I've got my my pirate shuttle. Who's going to head this way? Intercept. Be nice if I could. Huh. Privateer. You can pretend to be somebody else. That's sneaky. <laughs> we will always talk if you got dust. You. Okay. So. That's fine, and then we'll be able to go retake Lonica. Alright. Empire Science Production. On Thea. Team Spirit Battle Tactic. Morale bonus. Okay. 
A threat of discontent has been growing in the population, as some voters believe the galaxy is even more dangerous than it appears. We're under pressure to turn your policies and investments to more mi military uses. Okay, so that just increases military. Ah, uh, let's see. Argosi shuttle. Okay, let's take a look at Cygnus. Specifically, both of these should have what I'm looking for. Okay, we just got a bunch of things. Lifeform Transvine. Amoeba population. Huh. That's cool. So we got another uh, population type. Okay, so back in. Uh, let's see. So let's move the Cygnus... Three colony? Up. Actually, let's move both of the colonies up. Probably three four first. Apparently, I can also colonize the gas giant. I think I can eventually uh, terraform it into something a little bit more useful. Okay, but yeah, the sooner we start working on the population, the better. Okay, so where'd that pirate go to? I don't see it there. Oh, he looks like he might be going back. gonna bring the fairling back and then hopefully the uh hopefully the horatio quest will complete on cygnus and you know benefit my new population slots let's see what else do i have well i'm doing well let me see is there any, anything immediately i can do Probably not. I should probably actually just disband my, um... I'll just sell my fairing. I don't think I'm going to be using it for much at this point. Maybe later, but probably not. Okay, so otherwise we have the Argosi and the Lost Horatio. Can't do much with them. Alright, just end turn. Couple turns and we got that wonder. Okay, so science is done. Smoking Gun Part 2. The rest of the spy is creating creates something of a scandal, but during the public trial, your skillful political testimony convinces the majority of your population that your government is a shining beacon of right or light in the sea of darkness. The subsequent execution of the spies demonstrates that, despite being bound by the truth, you are no soft touch either. Yay, happiness. Tete a tete. Thea, a major industrial hub of your empire is holding a fancy summit for industry leaders and politicians to mingle and talk business, away from the scrutiny of the public eye. This year, ecological groups have organized a massive protest, condemning the summit as a secretive way to pass elitist, eco-unfriendly laws. You've, you've just received your personal invitation to the party. Let's see, this is Thea. Boost happiness. They're already pretty happy. Let's attend. And Argozi is ready. Well, we have part. We have pirates here. Let's fight them. Shut pi uh, pirate shuttle versus shuttle. I always liked the combat screens, though I kind of wish they were more of a, uh... Well, these things don't look durable at all. I do like how cinematic they look. I still miss the days of, like, uh, Master of Orion. Uh, it's, like, extremely tactical combat. Master of Orion 2 is the one that I'd specifically play. And I adored. Okay, well, anyway, uh, that worked out. I can rewatch the combat, yay. No. Argozi, head up to Lanika. And, wow, this guy levels fast. Uh, let's see. Extra money on system. Sounds good to me. You should be fine. Two turns. And then we can finally start progressing Elsalone again. 
We've got a uh, pirate fleet up here. Well, that's the that's these guys. Whoa, you've got right? dust. Hey, let's talk. Well, let's throw another non-aggression pact at them. Finish that uh, chapter one, a new world quest. Okay, so Argosy. So we've got large lava. What's this? Kessler Syndrome. Nope. I guess we'll just do Lonica. We also have an unknown signal, Curiosity. Okay, so we have to get advanced technologies to figure that out. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I should probably hold off on the portal for a bit. Let's do industry. Industry. Industry, industry. Food, food, food. That money. Okay, and then the rest can kind of come later. Oh, I've got it way too much tech and not enough uh, time to make it all. Well, it'll be fine. What else do we do? We wait, I guess. Yeah, one thing I really like about uh, this faction specifically... Oh. So we've finished the Intergalactic Technology Center, Eater. And that's more science that I don't necessarily immediately need, but that's okay. Let's see. 20% science on system, or... Eh. Happiness. Yeah, let's go science. Okay, so Lonica's going. Let's send the shuttle back. Yedix is done. Okay, so Alcelone is making intergalactic supermarkets. Study the subterranean thing. What's this one do? Ooh, yeah. That's really helpful. So we don't have a whole lot of strategic resources here, so it's not, like, immediately that useful. Actually, do we have any? Oh, we've got just a little bit of Hyperion. Hyperium. Uh, eh. It's kind of useful. The main problem is the upkeep costs get kind of pricey. prefer to put that off. Okay, there we go. So I could terraform this to desert. Sort of ash. I'm gonna leave terraforming till later. Okay, and the Horatios are just gonna wait. Because actually, I could bring them back to Lonica. Nah, we'll leave them on Cygnus. Okay, we have a population collection bonus for Sisters of Mercy. Okay, so what do we get? Let's favor these ones in comparison to the Vaulters, because they're less useful. Okay, so religious, health regeneration, and okay, so the Sisters of Mercy aren't exactly useful, but we want to work on our population bonuses anyway. Okay, so first Empire Capacity. Nope. That's fine. Call a spaceman a spaceman. On some of your systems, an antiquated classification scheme used to categorize minor civilization citizens has the religious community up in arms. The classification system is mostly meaningless at this point, but to officially accede to the protesters' demands would be a small bureaucratic nightmare. Ignore them. I'm kind of abusing my citizens. I'm constantly picking options that just make them unhappy. But it's worth it. Okay. So Nis is not doing anything. What can Nis do? Nis has some resources. Let's see, they're still happy. I think that's reasonable. That'll keep him busy for a while. Uh, that's Nis. What's the other one? Gaikon. Let's start by colonizing. Do I have uh Yes, I've already made the portal. I think this is kind of 
okay. I don't entirely know, but it's kind of one of those where it'll work itself out. They'll finish building their queue at some point. They'll be good. I take a very laissez-faire approach to these games, for better or worse. <laughs> 